Hello programmers, welcome to my third tutorial on core data. This is where we left, left off. So in um, previous two tutorials, we saved, fetched and deleted data from core data. I have commented uh, the previous section so that we can have a fresh start. So this uh, is some things I have already done. So I have already added few instances of data. And this warnings are because of our return function returning boolean. We are not handling uh, it right now, but it's a good practice to know that your function worked or not. So when you are working on some real application, you will be needing boolean certainly. And one more thing, every time my application runs, I'm cleaning uh, whole core data so that I don't have multiple instances of data while testing. So let's get started with our filter function. So under video part three, I will be creating new function say filter data and it will be returning array of user it may be return it may return okay so let context equal to get context now we need request it will be fetch request and it will be of type ns fetch request and we will pass in user and it will be user dot fetch request and now we need to declare a predicate so make sure you pay attention over here this is the trickier part so var predicate will be ns predicate and open brackets of format string and args and format will be our username contains we'll put a c over here and say percent at the rate and for args will be let's start with my name so it will be yash and so this is what we will be searching for and so now we will be doing other stuff under do statement and catch and catch we will just return user Oh, we need an array of user as well so let's get it let user uh, it will be a variable so variable user equal to let's just say it's user and it's it may be null so initially its value will be null so user and under do we will be doing and we need to assign this predicate to our fetch request so it will be fetch request dot predicate equals to predicate and now we will fetch the request so let's just say user equal to context dot fetch request and just pass in our fetch request and we will just return user so we are basically done with the filter data part call can throw and we need to add try over here let's run the application and see what okay variable predicate is not changed we will change it later on okay we are uh, getting each and every data because i forgot to do another step in this part so we are not going to fetch all objects we will fetch filter data so let's run it again okay what happened okay bro it will be filter data and command r so the application is running so here we have all the usernames having yash in their username now let's work our way around with numbers so let's again go back to our filter data and let's change this to let's make it let and we will now we will say password contains two and run now we will have result with password having two and as you can see we have password one two three four five and password two two so you can uh, find another logics about ns predicate on stack overflow or any other website just google it 
and you will find your workaround. So that's a basic tutorial on how to filter data on core data. Thank you guys. Keep watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.